Hello everyone! Welcome to Math Corner! In this video, we will talk about Rational Root Theorem. We will write list of possible roots of polynomial equations. Let us begin! Example number 1, let us find the list of possible roots of x cubed minus 4x squared plus x plus 6 equals 0. Our first step, let us identify the constant term and the leading coefficient. In this example, constant term is equal to 6, and it is denoted by p. Since the leading term is x cubed, the leading coefficient is equal to 1, and it is denoted by q. Next step, let us find factors of 6 and 1. Since 6 is equal to 1 times 6, 2 times 3, negative 1 times negative 6, and negative 2 times negative 3, factors of 6 are positive 1, negative 1, positive 2, negative 2, positive 3, negative 3, positive 6, and negative 6. We can write this as positive negative 1, positive negative 2, positive negative 3, positive negative 6. Next, let us find factors of Q. Since 1 is equal to 1 times 1 and negative 1 times negative 1, then we have positive negative 1. Next, let us divide factors of P by factors of Q, since P over Q is the least of possible roots. Let us divide. We have positive negative 1 divided by positive negative 1. If we divide like signs, the answer is positive. And if we divide unlike signs, the answer is negative. If we have positive 1 divided by positive 1, the answer is equal to positive 1. If we have negative 1 divided by negative 1, the answer is positive 1. If we have positive 1 divided by negative 1, the answer is negative 1. So we have positive negative 1. Next, we have positive negative 2 divided by positive negative 1 which is equal to positive negative 2. Next, positive negative 3 divided by positive negative 1. The answer is positive negative 3. And lastly, we have positive negative 6 divided by positive negative 1, which is equal to positive negative 6. And then, we have P over Q equals positive negative 1, Positive negative 2, positive negative 3, positive negative 6. And this is the list of possible roots. Next example, we have 2x raised to the 4th power plus 13x cubed minus 12x squared minus 37x minus 14 equals 0. Let us find the list of possible roots of this polynomial equation. In this example, the constant term is negative 14 and the leading coefficient is positive 2. Since negative 14 is equal to positive 1 times negative 14, negative 1 times positive 14, positive 2 times negative 7, and negative 2 times positive 7, then we have positive negative 1, positive negative 2, positive negative 7, and positive negative 14. Next, let us find factors of 2. Since 2 equals 1 times 2, negative 1 times negative 2, then we have positive negative 1 and positive negative 2. Next step, let us divide each P by each Q. First, let us divide each P by positive negative 1. Positive negative 1 divided by positive negative 1 equals positive negative 1. 
positive negative 2 divided by positive negative 1 equals positive negative 2. Positive negative 7 divided by positive negative 1 equals positive negative 7. And positive negative 14 divided by positive negative 1 equals positive negative 14. Next, let us divide each P by positive negative 2. Positive negative 1 divided by positive negative 2 equals positive negative 1 over 2. Positive negative 2 divided by positive negative 2 equals positive negative 1. Next, positive negative 7 divided by positive negative 2 equals positive negative 7 over 2. And positive negative 14 divided by positive negative 2 equals positive negative 7. And then, P over Q equals positive negative 1, positive negative 2, positive negative 7, positive negative 14, positive negative 1 over 2, and positive negative 7 over 2. And this is the list of possible roots of this polynomial equation. And that is how to find the list of possible roots of polynomial equations. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching.